government exists to protect us from each other. Where government has gone, beyond its limits is in deciding to protect us from ourselves. I've noticed that everyone, who is for abortion has already been born. The greatest leader, is not necessarily the one who does the greatest things. He is the one that gets the people to do the greatest things. Within the covers of the Bible are the answers, for all the problems men face. If we ever forget, that we're one nation under God, then we will be one nation gone under. There is no limit, to the amount of good you can do, if you don't care who gets the credit. Freedom is never more than, one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. Or one day we will spend our sunset years telling, our children and our children's children, what it was once like in the United States, where men were free. As government expands, liberty contracts. The most terrifying words, in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. I have left orders to be awakened, at any time during national emergency, even if I'm in a cabinet meeting. Christmas can be celebrated, in the schoolroom with pine trees, tinsel and reindeers. But there must be no mention of the man, whose birthday is being celebrated. One wonders how a teacher would answer, if a student asked why it was called Christmas. How do you tell a communist? Well, it's someone who reads Marx and Lenin. And how do you tell an anti-communist? It's someone who understands Marx and Lenin. Live simply, love generously, care deeply, speak kindly, leave the rest to God. Republicans believe every day is the 4th of July, but the Democrats believe every day is April 15th. You can tell a lot about a fellow's character by his way of eating jelly beans. Sometimes when I'm faced with an atheist, I am tempted to invite him to the greatest gourmet dinner that one could ever serve, and when we have finished eating that magnificent dinner, to ask him if he believes there's a cook. We must reject the idea that every time a law is broken, society is guilty rather than the lawbreaker. It is time to restore the American precept, that each individual is accountable, for his actions. I know in my heart, that man is good, that what is right will always eventually triumph. And there is purpose, and worth to each and every life. Heroes may not be braver than anyone else, they're just braver five minutes longer. I've heard that hard work never killed anyone. But I say why take the chance? Status quo, you know, is Latin for the mess we're in. Freedom prospers, when religion is vibrant and the rule of law, under God is acknowledged. Government's view of the economy could be summed, up in a few short phrases. If it moves, tax it. If it keeps moving, regulate it. And if it stops moving, subsidize it. I hope we once again have reminded people, that man is not free unless government is limited. There's a clear cause and effect here that is as neat, and predictable as law of physics, as government expands, liberty contracts. Politics is not a bad profession. If you succeed there are many rewards. If you disgrace yourself you can always write a book. It isn't so much that liberals are ignorant. It's just that they know so many things that aren't so.